All right, guys, hey, welcome to episode hey, 79 of hey. Dope Talk TV. What? Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got Jay over here, Sheesh. Remy and Aubrey in the back. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And yeah, man, pack yeah, your bong, pack your bowl, light your blunt. Roll your J, do what you gotta do, man. Get your dab rigs ready. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything Get all ready. that, all that. Your edibles. Yo. You already know. Can I use Where's a lighter? Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, where's my lighter? Oh yeah. my god. Oh, I just look at what we're doing here. Hold on, I'll light I'll light and then I'll pass it back over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. But yeah, guys. Don't forget your We're lighters. back with another one. Don't forget your lighters. How we feeling today, boys? Shit, we're chilling, man. I'm cooling, vibing. Beautiful day. Beautiful you know what I mean? Day. That's why I had to bring out the hat, bro. It's a beautiful. You it's look be beautiful. It's a beautiful Thank day, by the way. I appreciate I, so, you. Clap for yourself. Damn. Clap uh, for your fucking it, it self. Take me a second, but I'll, I'll do it. Hold on. Just pull it out anyway. Right yeah, 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 yeah. Pull out the clap, I mean. The clap. Yo, oh, I'll a, pull out the clap. You'll pull out the clap. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's a beautiful Thursday afternoon. You know what Bro, I mean? I feel we're gracious. Chilling, we're vibing. We're chilling. We're vibing. Shout out to y'all. The weekend's almost over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, we're, we're almost through it. All right? So, you know what I'm saying? Hang in there. One more day, and then you're back to the weekend. You know what I'm saying? One more fucking day, yeah. But yeah, guys. <laughs> it's crazy, man. You know, tax season came around this year, and people mm-hmm. getting their taxes. They getting the stimmies. But I started thinking. I'm like, bro, why the fuck aren't pets... I did like it. Why aren't pets like? Why can't you put your pets on your taxes? Why can't you claim pets on your taxes? Facts. Like you claim Where's rabbits, Rabbit? or you claim Where's this. Rabbit, Douglas, you know what I'm Show saying? Because pets are fucking expensive, bro. I just Facts. spent two grand on my dog not too long ago, a few months back. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And that's a lot of fucking bread <clears throat> that, is. that you're not getting back. You know what I mean? Like, Facts. yeah, it's that's a lot of bread, especially moving into places like. All right, well, I have to pay a deposit for my fucking dog, right? Yeah, and people use the argument like, "Oh, well, you choose to have a dog. Well, you choose to have a fucking kid too." And we get taxes right. for kids. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, exactly. Like, I didn't choose to have a kid. Yeah, you did. You didn't work out the yeah, worst exactly. You you cho- and then when you find out you're pregnant, you chose to keep it. Let's be real. You you're know what I'm saying? Shit. So at the end of the day, it's like it's a choice. It's all a choice. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I, I feel like you like should be able to so claim expensive. your dogs on your taxes, claim your pets on your taxes. If your dog needs a surgery, especially right now, if they're a service animal, if they're a service yeah. animal, like they actually provide a service, bro, you should be able to claim I'm that sure dog. They gotta have if there's good. dogs that take care of handicapped people, that dog should be able. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah, exactly. It should be. Um, yeah, because dogs are fucking expensive, bro. They like, are. They bro. are. Just the they're, visit they're is like 150. The, they're part of the family, man. Especially well, if you got one me. of these bougie ass They dogs. are. They're part of the family yeah. and they're good for your mental health. <laughs> yep. So it's like they're good to have around your family. <clears throat> yeah. But it's like, come on, man. I, I, you also got to work with certain people. Like, it, it's a lot, man. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah. And that's crazy, Thanks. man. In fucking China, they're killing them, eating them up. Fucking in Puerto Rico. You might, <laughs> when you go to PR, bro, hey, I swear no, to God, I'm you, see, gonna, you see a lot of dogs. Chinese you see people. a lot of dogs. Asian wow. lives matter because Asian, Asian th- hate doesn't matter. What, what, Asian <laughs> hate matters. Asian it hate matters. We're not doing nah, the Asian yeah. hate thing. Shout out to you Asian nah, people. Nah, shout we out to you y'all. Asian people, man. And fuck man. you to everybody that's facts. fucking doing all these yeah, hate facts. attacks and shit we on fuck, Asian people. We fucking love Asian people, bro. Whoever yeah, hates man. Asians, we fuck you. Shit. Fuck you, whoever yeah. hates yeah. Asians. Nah, like, bro, you ever see the <laughs> Asians that speak Spanish? Yes. Yeah. In Puerto you go Rico, to PR, you know, there's... the best fucking yo, rice. And PR, bro, there's actual Chinese people. Yep. That lived there. Mm-hmm. They talk Spanish with the Chinese yeah. fucking accent and everything. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, they like, come on, bro. You, fuck all that, bro. Shout I, out I, to I, y'all. Shout out to y'all For Asian real. people, man. Round of applause to yeah. y'all Asian we people. We don't support Asian hate here. Yeah, facts. No kind of hate here. We no kind of hate. Shit. Yeah, for real. We hate everybody equally. Equally. <laughs> so, Shout out to don't, us. It don't matter who you are. Nah, yes. facts. It could be but anybody. Nah, something that Jay brought up earlier, man, and I completely agreed with, we all agreed with, is um, is like when you start really breaking down life, bro, we got, we got to be a little bit more grateful. Yeah. Like, you know True. what I'm saying? We There's so many things like we don't have to deal with. You know, we yeah. could go up to the store if you if you're blessed enough to have a little bit of money. You could go up to the store, get you something to eat, get your family something. You don't gotta go hunt. You don't yeah. gotta go, you know, walk to the river like you said to to bathe or like, you know, get something to drink or wash your clothes. Like, there's so many things. Like, every, we we all get caught up in a hustle in an everyday yeah, hustle, that's... and eventually, like, you gotta realize, like, 
you got to be grateful for the little day to day things that you do have. If you have a place to go home and lay your head down at mm-hmm. night, you're blessed. If you woke up, if you if you woke up today, you're blessed. Yeah. If you have another opportunity, you know, to like change your life, whatever it is, change certain things about yourself that you don't like, you're blessed. If you got to go to you know work. You're blessed. Facts. Even though it doesn't feel like it right now, you're blessed. You're blessed, you bro. Think about how many people can't go to work? Real talk. Like how you like were literally. Mm, yeah, bro. yeah. Go ahead, bro. Yes. That shit is crazy. We all need a. You know what? It's because I've been practicing this myself too. So this is not just something that I'm talking shit about. But we all just got to do that. Lately, I've been trying to wake up in the morning before I get out of bed. I try to think of everything. Like, man, I don't. I, you know, I could walk. I have two arms. They function. Two legs. They function. Fucked up eyes, but I'm thankful for them. But, uh, yeah, there's some people that don't, man. There's some young people out there that have caregivers that got to wait. You know, they got to they wake up. They got to wait for somebody to bathe them, you know, and all that. And we here complain that we got to get up in the morning. You know, we got to do Fact. this. We got to do that. It's a fucking blessing that you can take drive, a shower, take a shower, you know, that brush you your own a, teeth, you know a meal. get yourself dressed. Even homeless people, if you think about it, because it might not seem like, oh, but the people who are on the streets here are not like the people who are on the streets in India. Or in another third world country somewhere. And not even third world country because every country has poverty. Yeah. Yeah. So but the I thing like is, bro, the poverty country, here is different than poverty. Yeah, like poverty it, here it's is true shit because compared to other countries. Because honestly, bro, some of these guys that you see, you know, and these girls that you see standing on the side of the road, bro, they make upwards of 150, 200, nah, 300 dollars. I've seen them running day. into racetrack a day. and getting cigarettes. So and shit. those guys that you've seen, they're all this homeless person, bro, that person's probably making, making more money than you. Than you. Yeah. yeah, I know. And you, Low and key. You. Yeah. yeah, they got to count up fucking nickels and dimes and all that shit. But hey, yo, if I'm ten you know, by t- see, penny by penny, it makes a dollar. Speaking, <laughs> speaking you know of homeless, man? speaking of homeless, man, like I'm gonna sound a little bit judgmental, but I went to the store and he just walked in. He looked raggedy as hell, right? But you know, it's just anybody could look raggedy, right? You know what yeah, I mean? Rich so people it doesn't look raggedy mean he's all the time. But he fucking <laughs> just came in and he bought one single fucking uh uh, what do you call it? The Chef Boy RD Kent, he bought just one. And I was just looking at him, I was like, man, and he just like left. Like, just one. And I was just like, man, like he looked like he's struggling. Like I, I wanted to help him in a way. You know what I mean? I kind of just went, hey, let me pay for it. You know what I mean? But now he just like dipped. He paid for it. And I was like, damn, just one single can, bro. I'll so, buy you a meal. I'll never turn a meal away. But guess yeah, what? Facts. I gave I one like, of these damn. homeless guys the other day a joint. You know, I was at the light and he came up. They and I appreciate like, shit like that. For I was real. like, bro, I ain't got no money on me right now, but I do got this. And I pulled out a fat ass raw. And he's like, ooh, that's better than uh, money. Thank you. Yeah. you. I was like, God bless you. Enjoy. Yeah, for Life's real. hard for them, man. That's the easiest shit. Some people are out there, you know, they're out there by choice. Some people are out there by choices. And some people are out yeah. there because of mental health and shit. Now, that's everybody's true. homeless, yep. you know? Yep. Like, everybody has a different story. That's why you can't be too judgmental and too quick to judge. Yeah, John. Yeah, you piece of fucking yeah. shit. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to judge. But at least he gave you the disclaimer so you wouldn't get your feelings yeah, hurt. Facts. No, and if you did get your feelings hurt, fuck you. No, I mean, work it, on your fucking feelings, yeah, you little get piece tough of shit. And just be more gracious. It's just being a normal person and, like, just fucking... That's just being normal. Like you're just gonna. Usually people judge you by just like how you look and how you you know yeah. represent yourself. You that's come in looking like a fucking bum. We'll, people decide what they think of you. The people first are gonna five think minutes. you're bums. Yeah, what is like, it? That's what they say. But that's yeah. why that this this is the, kind of the same topic slithering off. That's why women you gotta you gotta watch the way you dress because what you portray is how people are gonna think about you. Just like John, the the man walked in there and he was dressed yeah. like a bum, and John was like, "Look at this fucking bum." You walk in there dressed like a whore. Guess what? People are gonna think you you dress like a whore. If you walk in yeah, there dressed like not. a fucking thug, people are gonna think you dress like a thug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, and you can't sit here and be, like, "Oh, you're fucking judging me." It's like, I mean, yeah, kind of like look at. Everybody does it. You know Everybody all over the world. This isn't even just the United it's like States. One, it's thing. like one thing saying, "Oh, well, don't don't wear fucking Nike shoes with Adidas pants." No, nah, that's 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 different. Who I mean, decided that's fucking that? retarded. Yeah, like, that's on a, a fuck? yeah. That's a different fucking story. Like, who <laughs> hey, what the fuck is that? Like, who that, fucking like, there's decided pe- there's that? There's people. There's people making memes like that. I've seen that on the internet recently. Like, oh, oh yeah, like, and they're also probably bro. like twelve years old. Yeah, you know, like I'm sure. You know the guy that does the sign. Yeah. This, the, the, he's famous. He has an Instagram. He has a sign with yeah, just different shit. Yeah, that's what his shit. job is. That's yeah. his money maker. That's what yeah. pays his bills. That, that's what he's like. Don't don't wear fucking. I was just like. But he also said 2021 was our year. It is my year. Yeah. <laughs> I had to think for a minute what year it was. I'm like, oh, it is 2021. 
2021, man. Yeah. Time's flying. Nah, Time's DM, fucking D- flying, DMX, too. DMX, bro. Yeah, man. Hey, guys. Yo, nah, for real. Fuck, man. So I'm a little bit more serious. Um, DMX. DMX. At this, uh, the time of this recording. At right the time now. of this recording right now, he remains on life support, and his family is flying out to yeah, they already the hospital, the family. which is never a good thing. Nah. You know, never a good thing. Anybody that's been in those situations, you know that when you get called out up, uh, up to that hospital, man, it's that's pretty his much it. I thought he was breathing on his own. Nah, nah, that was like. That yeah. was false information, I guess, his lawyer put out there. He's in a vegetative state in hospital in New York City after he suffered a heart attack due to a drug overdose. The hey, rapper, uh, 50 years old. Shout out to shout out to DMX, man. Um, yeah, it, unfortunately, man. unfortunately, it doesn't sound like he's going to make it through this. Um, but you never know. We pray. We pray that he does. You never know. Miracles happen every day. Wow, but yeah. one special shout out that I wanted to give out was... To the piece of shit <laughs> that sold him the fentanyl lace fucking crack. And when we say shout out, we don't mean that in a good yeah, way. Yeah, I don't mean that in a good you, way. I mean, fuck bitch. you. I mean, fuck Give you. Give him the fucking booze. Give him the fucking yeah, piece bro. of trash. I don't know the fuck that shit's at. There is no booze. Well, but boo. Boo to you. Boo. Fuck Guess you. Guess what? I'll put him in there. Yeah, we'll put him in there yeah, next time. But him. not for real. Like, fuck you, we had bro. Because no, it's like. It. Oh, okay. Like, okay. there's so many people that fall victim to that type of shit. And it's like, bro, like, just to make you a little bit more profit, you put people's lives in danger. Because there's a lot of people out there, bro, you don't have to cut your shit. You really don't. It's going to sell itself. But for you to make two, three, four times the amount that you were going to originally the make, of money. you'll fucking cut this shit with something that's potentially going to kill somebody. Yeah. And because they're a junkie, you don't give a fuck. Uh, but yeah. that's not right. You shouldn't think like that. But why are they doing it? It's for the money at the end of the day. Yeah, the they love become, of money, yeah, bro. The love. We talked about. We that, talked remember? about that. Yeah, like <laughs> the love example. of money, man. It's fucking crazy. Like makes people do and, crazy and, shit. And then man. the the sickest part about it all is that this man that sold him that shit probably got his clientele booming right now on his phone because he they got know that blue magic. They know that he got that shit. That's strong killing yeah. niggas type mm-hmm. shit. Trust, bro. It's it's weird how it works, but that's really how it goes, bro. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Bro. It's sad to think about. Shout out to DMX. Yeah, bro. You know, our condolences go out to your family. We hope you recover. Yeah, man. And um, yeah, man. We'll see where this goes. But guys, don't Life don't do short, drugs, man. guys. Nah, dead ass. Like, you play with you fire, hear us, you get burned. You hear us talk about so much shit. And we play yeah, around we play, so but fucking much, wait. but. <laughs> Y'all don't do drugs. Wait. We fucking Who's smoke weed. Mind? We have a couple yeah, drinks a couple here and there. Yeah. But that's it, man. Like, don't put your life in jeopardy. Don't have your family crying at your funeral over stupid decisions that you could have avoided. Facts. Like, there's a lot of things that to live for and a lot of things to think about before you stick a needle in your arm or snort people some love shit. You. Or, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, people love you. You matter, bro. Yeah. And, and your Facts. family loves you. you. Your friends love you. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to be sitting here mourning you or you know, seeing you in a in a vegetative state like DMX, man, like that's just fucked up. Yeah. So that's, you that's you hear us more. joke a lot, and we're gonna yeah. keep joking. Yeah. Like we're, we're always gonna shit, keep joking. Regardless. That's just our sense of humor. But that, this is a little disclaimer. We yeah. like we don't really condone fucking drug, drug usage. Like yeah, that's, that's not cool. Yeah, it's not. We yeah. all have people in our family with We've drug problems or uh, alcohol problems or whatever it is. Like it's it. You know, everybody struggles with it in a different way, but. Yeah, guys, don't. Uh, if you could avoid it, avoid it. And if you're already in it, you know we pray for you get help. and and get some help, man. Reach because there's help. There's help out there. You're not alone. There's people recovering addicts that have gone through mm-hmm. what you've gone through, mm-hmm. and that that can really help you yeah. straight the fuck up. Exactly. Yeah. Straight up. Truth. Yeah. Truth, man. Truth. But Y'all gonna something. make yeah, man. me lose my mind. Up there, here. Nah, bro. you definitely are not DMX. Yeah, yeah, nah, that You're was too actually. Irish, uh, bro. Mishka Bargain. <laughs> Mishka Bargain. Mishka Bargain. Nah, you guys, you know what the fuck is crazy, though? This Hummer. Oh, the new Hummer. And yeah. he doesn't mean the other Hummer. You know what other Hummer he's talking about? The gas about? guzzler? Oh. I'll um, show her a gas guzzler. Hey, that's what I was talking about. The Hummer, you know? <laughs> I've heard that the Hummer is... Huh, <laughs> My dog got scared, uh, 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 I don't know what the fuck you is going know? on. That's just tripping me out. I'm like lost. Don't worry about it. Just stare into it. Holy fuck, oh, guys. Oh, you fucking Hummer. Let me tell hit, you. Put your fucking sack in your mouth and you go... Hey, mm, stop! 
That vibration yeah. sensation. What that's, what, that? that's what she said the hummer was. The hummer. But he's nah, not talking bro, about that hummer. Like, <laughs> he's talking about nah, the other I'm not hummer. talking about that hummer. Yeah, so. This so, fucking dick. Tell me. Nah, <laughs> the fucking hummer. There's a new hummer coming out. Electric hummer. Oof. I think that it's going to be the smoothest new whip Oof. out, in mm. my opinion. Just because mm-hmm. it's like, that was the only fucking problem that you had with Hummus. Yes. Was that you had to spend $600 at the pump every That's time you pulled car. up. That's a big boy car. That's good know for you. Yo, yeah, a nah, good facts. for you, bro. I've seen the girls that get on top of the Hummus and they just like, they just, they love the vibration. I've seen them. There was a, there was a movie. She was like, like whoa, she, where she, are she you was hanging like, out? I forgot which movie it was. Someone, <laughs> someone, someone used to come and she was on top of the car. She's like, oh. Like having an orgasm when he was revving the car. Who, who can guess that movie? I'll send you a twenty five dollar gift card. I don't hey, know. First man. of all, I don't fucking, know. It was fucking awesome. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but it sounds like that was more of a system. A system <laughs> yeah, probably I think thumping. Because I've seen was. videos I've seen like the that. Crazy videos. Yeah. Man. No, I've seen a video. Crazy. I've seen a video of a nigga that had a system that literally made a bitch's eyes roll to the back of her head. Like it gave Whoa. her an orgasm. I'm not even playing. You can look it up. Do you know like what his number is or something? I like to, I like to check out the system. Also. Nah, seriously. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, it's fucking crazy, bro. It's fucking crazy. Uh, yeah. Fact, I like it though. Yeah, yeah. Hey, talk I mean, dirty. you know, I talk like dirty. You know, Did, is that your car, bro? Somebody stealing your car? Across the street? <laughs> oh, guys, my car's gone. Oh, oh, shit, I'm botting. I'll call the I'll call the authorities after. You know what I mean? No, I'll get Florida. it back. I'll get it back. But yeah, guys, I'm not. I'm fucking sick and tired of. You He's know not having a lighter. Can I? I'm, use I'm it? sick and tired. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of fucking uh, people flexing bread. Hey guys, guess what? Everybody got the same fourteen hundred. Yeah, don't right? go online and fucking count money like your thumb hurt. Everyone went to Miami and spent. And guess what? If you got a shit ton of kids, you're sitting on a chunk of change. Yeah, I, don't bro. don't try to fool yourself. Listen, man, invest that shit, guys. I love how they be like, look, hustling, grinding night day. You was not grinding, bro. You've been locked up for the last six months. <laughs> Facts. You've been at your house, been broke your house. as shit, Shut miserable fuck as fuck. <laughs> and nah. I was like, ooh, my thumbs hurt. Counting is about 1,500. It's probably like 1,200 because those J's, you know what I mean, in the video. Yeah, it probably counts 625 right there. It's 625 because you probably had the phone bill was probably back. <laughs> 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 the nah, phone bill was nah, back up. people yeah. don't let go off now, bro. <laughs> Think about that. How the many people bill. really let their phones go off now? Like, how many people can live? Like, can you let your cell phone shut off for the week? No, no, no. Hell no. I need my shit. Yeah. Back then, it was different. Nobody really had cell phones. But now, yeah. it's such a tool, bro, that people can't live. Look at those videos of, like, teenage girls and, and boys having... Fucking like <laughs> crying because they fucking don't have a phone. And I'm yeah. like, bro, I'm gonna tell you People something. Can't live I remember phones. being a kid and not having a phone and being fucking absolutely happy with life. Yeah. I remember going outside, nigga, playing fucking manhunt, being playing, present. Yeah, like I didn't. I don't know. It's it's weird. Like kids nowadays, they grew up with that shit in the house. Yeah. We were we were that last generation that kind of didn't have it, and then it just like yeah. we it grew fucking into took it. Took off, yeah. Boom. Yeah, like it came out of nowhere, yeah. kind of. But like, bro, we were outside, man. As kids, like my mom had to drag my ass in the house, yeah, and I, we've talked about it on here before. Yeah. Like my mom had to drag me in the crib. Like she <laughs> couldn't get me in the house yeah. when the like, lights I turn on. You better be home. Like yeah, the street lights, that type of yeah. shit. And it's fucking mm-hmm. nine o'clock, and my mom's blowing my shit up, and I'm. I was yeah. right across the street at Pedro's mm-hmm. house. She's but still, fanny. it's just you know like, fanny nigga, fanny. like, <laughs> uh, you couldn't get me in the fucking house, bro. Like, yeah. we were always outside doing something, playing manhunt, playing basketball, Fact. going to somebody else's neighborhood and playing them in basketball over there. And always hanging them out with trash. people, bro. Yeah, like, it was different. Human like, connection's important. It was, it was a different time. It was. Yeah, it seems like it. I've been watching news I mean, clips since before the pandemic, and I'd be like, man, I'm... That seems like so yeah, long ago. But it's still out here because I'm not going to lie, guys. Yeah, the neighborhood that we live in right yeah, now, yeah. bro, it's pretty nice, man. Like, yeah. there's the times I'll leave, I'll leave, bro, and there, I'll see like the whole street full of kids. There'll be kids over here, kids over there skateboarding. He's a suburban. Thing. Look at me. Hey. I don't stay in the projects anymore. I'm not a project baby anymore. I'm a suburb kid. I'm a suburban. <laughs> He's I'm a, a suburban, suburban man. I'm a suburban guy. I'm a suburban. We're all I like, suburbans I like suburbans. You know what I'm Mama saying? Mama made it out the hood. <laughs> Shout out to you. Bro. Honestly, bro, listen, man. Being born in PR and living sh- in Carolina, bro, I'm glad that mm. my mom got us out the fucking hood. For right? real. Because Carolina has the best studios, though. Yeah, shout out nah, to you. Yeah, shout out to y'all. I love my island, bro, but there's certain places where, in my opinion, you just don't want to raise kids at. You don't. And in the facts. middle of the fucking hood, 
It's one of them. Puerto Rico is a small <laughs> island, bro. Yeah, it's a small island. If you got island. beef Everybody with somebody, you're facts. eventually going to bump into each other. Yeah, yeah. facts. That's why shit's crazy. It's yeah. different over there, bro. I remember I remember pulling up one day. I went on vacation over there, and we stopped at a red light, bro. And there was, like, a kid chasing another fucking kid with, with like, a fucking broken bottle. <laughs> there were They're kids, like nigga. Eight. Yeah. There were yeah, kids, yeah, nigga. They were like enough. 11, 12 years old. It. I'm not gonna no lie. Share it. And Just I was like, my mom's like, oh my god, like the kids running and the other kids chasing them. And my uncle's like, yo, if he gets them, he's gonna stick them. Yo, <laughs> yo, that's all he's saying. He's sitting in the car. Yeah, he's sitting in the car like, yo, if he gets them, he's gonna poke his ass. Bro, I smoke. I smoke some fucking crack. When I was in PR, God damn, bitch, you just nah, the bro, fuck? nah. They put it in you the. You just blunt. wanted to ruin your life, huh? Nah, bro, bro. like I went we down. Just about, we just thought the fuck. We just thought we don't condone drug nah, use. Yeah, I smoked uh, crack. Nah, it's not fucking crack. Like uh, they wasn't crack. They probably put some like they laced it though with something, bro. I got laced yeah, with PCP I've been laced, before. You know what I mean? We like, talked about that before too. Being yeah, laced, yeah, and it was just sucks. yeah. It was, don't do drugs. Don't yeah. play with fire. It was a bad experience. Yeah, it's a bad experience. Guys, listen, even we. If you don't trust a person like that for real, or you like, yeah. you didn't see them roll it up. Yeah, don't hit that yeah. shit, man. Learn There's that. been plenty of times where I hit some somebody's joint, somebody's blunt, and it was like, yo, I'm not feeling good. Facts. Yeah. Like, you don't, you never know, bro. You never know what you, somebody else is doing and what somebody else is, you know, facts. that they're smoking on. Yeah, for it real, was. For real. It was like an experience just to like have and like remember, but like it wasn't intentional. You know what I mean? So it was cool. It was a good time. But like, after that, guess what, guys? He fell in love with crack. He fell in love with crack, like DMX. Unfortunately, fell in love with crack. Nah, nah. nah that's you know they said that's, that's what happened. happened. That's course. what happened yeah, to him. He overdosed yeah, and had nah, a heart nah, attack. Yeah. He yeah. he's been yeah. on crack. That's what he started. Yeah, on, he's been say. on some that the shit. He struggled with addiction for like since his whole forever. life. Yep. Yeah, his whole life. But honestly, you got to bring that shit back to like childhood traumas and shit. True. People like a lot of people. A lot of people try to cope and suppress. Pain and trauma that they went through as a child because they don't know how to deal with it, and all all anybody ever tells you is like, oh well, everybody goes through it, so get over it. And not you know everybody's the same, though. Not everybody's, not everybody's, the everybody's the same, mentally. and not everybody went through the same shit. Yeah, like there's niggas that like the little smallest thing in the world, you know, gets them off course. Yeah. And there's people that's like, bro, they lost their mom at 12 years old. Their dad's a fucking you yeah, know strong out person he's in prison now like oh, they didn't have no support didn't system have it either but it, the thing is that person's mentality like some people commit suicide some people don't some people need more help than others yes. bro that's why you see when a teacher in a, in a classroom she'll focus on certain kids a little more guess what it's not because she doesn't fucking care about your kid your kid already fucking got it yeah yep. your kid's smart your kid already got it so she has to focus on the kid that's like yo he's a, he's a little bit slower he Worried needs a little bit more pay. extra help yeah. you know what I'm saying like that's but people are so inhumane they don't think about it like that. They're they like, oh, well, my bro. kid isn't getting the same amount of attention. It's like, bitch, who gives a fuck about attention, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Like, did he learn what he was supposed kid. to learn? Yeah. You're supposed to yeah. give your kid the attention. Bro, let's, let's keep it a buck, bro. Like, I don't remember from, like, first, from first to, like, seventh grade, I didn't really, like, no, any. I don't think I use any of what I learned or remember anything. <laughs> bro, you don't dig back to high school. What the fuck do you use from there? The math, only thing we use letters, is certain writing, basic math. English. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. I don't remember like half of the shit. Yeah. The only thing grammar. that we use is just, you know, gr- yeah. I'm just throwing things out that you possibly could have learned. Yeah. yeah. Like maybe we should just have some like better fucking You don't classes. need that now, bro. You got an app. It's called Grammarly. You don't need grammar. Why? Yeah. Because you pay monthly for this app that fixes your essays, your everything. That's so crazy. think about that. Yeah. I didn't have that. Hell no, bro. Like, I got I, yelled at. You know so how many stupid. fucking papers I failed? Mira, <laughs> like, hey, mira, papi. Yo sé que yo no sé si tú estás tratando. I'm, like, I'm trying my fucking hardest right now. Pero esto parece como si tú no estuvieras tratando. Now, nah, facts. And then you go home and you're like, well, guys, school ain't for me. I told my mom, I'm I'm so school cold. ain't for me. Got me a chopper. Yo, and you then see, I was. Did you see the guy getting a fucking haircut while fucking on the online class? He was, you know, they do. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking swag. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, hey, yo, no, bro. What's shout up? out to you. Shout, shout out, out to you, you bro. Yo, that's Round swag. of applause to you. That was fucking swag. Swag. Wow. I would have done the same thing for real. You just got the AirPods in. You're like, hey, I'm paying attention. And if I'm not, it's, it's all right. They're yeah. like Miguel. You gotta turn off up. the fucking machine because we can't hear the class. Cannot hear because that. Z- nah. But <laughs> <laughs> I just put it on mute real quick. Put it on mute. Yeah, I can hear yeah. you. You can't hear yeah, me. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. it. Oh, my God. Fuck you. This guy is innovative. He's fucking innovative. 
<laughs> fuck you, uh, fucking uh, Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. Yo, this guy, this guy was fucking pissed the other night. He went to go play fucking Call of Duty, and he had hey, to do bro. a update. <laughs> Yeah. Hey bro, hey no, yo, look, hey yo, listen, Call of Duty. I was cur- I was in this bitch cursing at the TV. I went to go play my fucking game, right? That I fucking already paid sixty, eighty dollars. I forgot how much it was. They robbed me. They yeah. fucking robbed me. It We've was a lot of money. There. I fucking go in to go play my game. This shit fucking needs a ninety nine hour update. Yo, he's literally, I'm like, yo, get the fuck out of here, my, my room is like right next to the studio, so I hear this guy coming in and out the room, and he's checking, he's checking every hour. And I'm like, he's gonna be pissed. Yo. And then I would run out here and look. To see him. I'm like, damn, this is. Hey, like, bro, listen, yeah. them updates, y'all need to work on them shits, bro. Them shits shouldn't take two days. They're gonna be like, you know Fuck what? Fuck here. you, get a fast day in the neck. And yeah. You know, this guy, <laughs> this guy has the fastest no. internet hey, in bro, the world. Fact. No, my shit's trash. They have a gig internet. That's where I need to go. <laughs> gig internet. But how much you got? 440. I got 400 megs. 400 oh, megs. I don't know none yeah. of that shit. That hurts. Most people got like 100 around here. But I was able to get that. But Our shit's people. trash. I'm not going to lie, bro. But it's based on that, too, where you live. Because maybe in this area, there's probably like a neighbor over there, maybe, on that road that's got gig internet. But maybe over here, they can't provide you that high of a nah, speed. Nah, fuck them. They're going to bring it over here. I used to work for an <laughs> internet company. That's how I know. So if you say I'm lying, guess what? I probably am. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because we're fucking scammers. Internet yeah, is such are. a scam. Yeah, fucking. yeah, bro. Don't even watch us. Because guess what? We just fucking trying to scam you. <laughs> No, that's why Spectrum got fucking sued. You remember because he wasn't giving them. Spectrum, yeah. don't shut me down, please. Shut he wasn't. Him down. He wasn't. Go, he wasn't putting. He wasn't getting the hundred megabytes through um, through the yeah, internet. Nah, but they were saying the that? lawsuit. Oh, fuck off. The lawsuit was because they were paying like people were paying for four hundred megs. Yeah, but then giving you a modem that only topped out at hundred megs. So it doesn't matter if you had a gig. You were only gonna get a hundred mess because that modem. Kick out on it, yo. Yeah. Fuck them niggas, bro. I'll punch that nigga. I'll go to the office and it's smoke. Nah, but now Straight they, the fuck they up. fix it though. They fix yeah, it. Yeah, that's and the best. They got sued. That's the best bet. You owe me some money and a couple yeah. fucking years for free too. Yeah, fuck out of here. I used to get people credits all the time. I, felt I was nervous. I was humane. People would come in and give me that situation. I was like, you know what? I'm sorry that your internet went out and your kids have now failed college and they're done. I'm gonna give you a month off. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Man. Nah, facts. Yeah. Shout yeah. Out yo, you. listen, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. Tell somebody you love them. You know what I'm saying? And we hope that you're enjoying your fucking Thursday right before your Friday. You know what I'm saying? May tomorrow be productive and blessed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come on, Johnny. we'll catch you on the next one. Go ahead, Johnny boy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's money. Bunny, she look like she my honey. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, all right, guys. Yeah, yeah, that that you, was that this thank time, you. man. Right, I'm sorry, we, guys. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah. Oh my god. We love yeah. you though. Make we'll it love my you. way down to-